Hi you guys, this is Phil Town for Rule One Investing. We're going through the six market crushing principles that come to us from Ben Graham, Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger. We've got five of them up here in this acronym that starts with R, radar, U, understand, L, love, E, event, and R, reduce basis. And the last one, number six, is S for story inversion. N, story inversion. This is critical. This comes to us from two great investors. The guy that came up with the idea of story is Julian Robertson. He's a great hedge fund manager. He was compounding money at about 38% for about 20 straight years. Pretty, pretty phenomenal rule one type investor. And he was looking for a way back in the 60s and 70s where he could avoid making mistakes, right? You want to avoid that. And so the way he came up with has become kind of part of the way the hedge fund industry works. And you should do this too as an individual investor. You simply build a story that tells the story of your thesis or your idea about why this is a great company. So turns out when we build this story, we're going to build it based on this acronym right here. So the acronym goes first, Radar, where did I get this idea from? And we would love to see you get it from another great investor, right? Somebody like Warren Buffett. Next, here's how I understand the business, meaning moat management, margin of safety. What is it worth? When do I want to buy it or what price do I want to pay for it? It matches my values and I love it for that. This is the event that put it on sale and why really smart investors are scared and bailing out. Finally, how am I going to reduce basis and get this thing producing cash flow that's running up to 20% in the next five or 10 years? And then finally, and most important in this story is what Charlie Munger taught us. And that is before you finish your story, invert it. Take the great story and figure out if you were going to argue that this is a dumb idea to buy this company, whatever it is, what would that argument look like? Charlie said, if he can't tell the other side of the story better than the guys who believe that, then he knows he doesn't understand enough about this business. So we love to have a great story. So let me give you an example of this. I might say, okay, there's my story on Chipotle Mexican Grill. I see that um, one of the best investors in the world is buying into this. Um, it, it, I totally love burritos. I, don't go, I eat there all the time, definitely on my radar. Do I understand the business? Absolutely. It's burritos. I got it. That the moat in this business is an enormous brand moat that's based on natural food, raising a, you know, like these guys stopped producing pork into their burritos because these guys, you know, farmers weren't growing the pork right. So really a moral brand. Third is that the management team is the founders and they've, they're phenomenal at it. And fifth, fourth is the margin of safety. This is a business worth probably at the time, let's say the time I was buying it, was worth $120 a share. I could buy it for 60 bucks, so it's on sale. I love the values of this business. I think it's the modern values of the company. Um, the event that put it on sale is a market meltdown. Everything went on sale. It's just a natural fluctuation of the market. And we're down here at this point, 2009. Perfect. Stock is massively on sale. Now, if I buy it, I can reduce the basis. These guys don't pay out dividends, but I can do options and reduce the basis of this. Plus, I'm getting it so cheap that if they ever do start paying dividends, they're going to be huge. And finally, let me invert that story. Phil, you don't want to be buying Chipotle right now because guess what? Nobody's got any money. Everybody's going broke. The financial system's melting down. Nobody's going to be going buying any burritos. Now I have to give a rebuttal for that. I would say, au contraire, they're actually going into the burrito business more than ever. People are maybe not going to Olive Garden and they might not be going to some fancy restaurants, but they're going down and buying burritos because why? Burritos are a cheap way to feed the family. It's a clean restaurant. You can get out for the night. This company is going to do better in a financial meltdown like this than almost any restaurants out there. So that's basically how you set this up and check out what we've got here. We've got this cool, cool little acronym. It says R U L E R S rulers. Follow this. You guys understand these principles and you will not go far off on any investing that you do.